All right, what is up, guys? CJR here, back with another episode of the First 20. Um, kind of starting a Hidden Gems series here. I, I, I mentioned before that I had uh, been looking, well, many times that I've been looking for a copy of Resident Evil Gaiden. Uh, that's the game we have up today, is uh, Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy Color. Um, yeah, it's, it's a game that I had a chance to play as a kid. I, I can't remember when I picked the game up, but I briefly played it as a kid. And it's kind of... Uh, I compare the art style, or the... Uh, it, it reminds me a bit, basically, of the Metal Gear Solid game, which I really, really love. And uh, I did a gameplay episode on that before. So if you want to go check that out, feel free to uh, go ahead and do that. Um, anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd start doing some games here that people typically probably haven't seen before. So uh, I just thought Resident Evil Gaiden would be a great great place to start. Um, it's got a really cool shooting mechanic. Uh, it's This game isn't uh, super expensive, but it's pretty hard to find these days. Uh, it, it got decent reviews. Some people love it. It's kind of a love or hate game. I myself really enjoy the mechanic, the shooting mechanic in this. And uh, it's not a really long game. It's uh, it, it's the graphics, I think, for even this screen right here. I mean, look at the zo zombies in the background. The sound at the beginning is really cool. It tries to do some voice stuff. Uh, I'm really actually... I've always been kind of um, enamored with this game and, and kind of impressed by what they were able to do on the GBA. So I'm going to go through this. In an effort to put a stop to the global operations of evil of the evil corporation entity, Umbrella Pharmaceuticals, Inc., an underground organization was formed. This organization consists of former STARS members and ex-Umbrella employees. So I'm not sure where this is in the um, in the uh, universe of uh, Resident Evil. I, I'm i completely lost when it comes to that anyways. Uh, no, uh, somewhere in North America at, at this underground at this underground organization's hideout. Oh, that's where we are. 2.30 a.m. at that underground organization's hideout. Uh, you play as Barry in this. Uh, Barry, reporting for duty. Uh, good to see you, Barry. I have a mission for you uh, of the utmost urgency. A new type of bio-organic weapon, BOW, as it'll be later called, uh, developed at Umbrella Labs, has escaped. This BOW is believed to be among the pa uh, passengers of the luxury ocean cruiser, the Starlight. That's where the game takes place on a big uh, boat. The new BOW is extremely dangerous creature, even in its human form human form. Uh, Leon. Leon S. Kennedy of Raccoon City Police Department was tracking the BOW, but we have now lost contact with him. Uh, his last report came in over 24 hours ago. So you can see the graphics on here. Kind of cool. Uh, objective. Locate Leon S. Kennedy and eliminate the BOW. Insertion via helicopter. Location. The Starlight currently cruising the Atlantic. Extraction via helicopter deployed uh, on receipt of radio transmission. Operative Barry Burton, Redhead. Good luck with your next mission. Excellent reading. I think I got through that okay. HQ Barry, come in over. Copy. I read you over. <laughs> uh, every time I'll make I'll make that try and make that sound. Uh, you are now on. <laughs> On the side deck, uh, 2F, make your way west. Uh, look for useful items along the way. Uh, they may be hidden in boxes or containers. Your alert icon uh, will flash when an item is nearby. I'll go over that. Uh, you can pick the items up. Blah, blah, blah. Good luck, Barry. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, first thing I noticed here, much like the Metal Gear game, is the running animation. And the animations in general. Uh, pretty good. For Game Boy Color, so you can see the the little notification went off that there might be something located here, and there is. And I don't remember getting bullets from there before. I feel like I've checked these before, and and there was not bullets there, but I could be wrong. And then you'll find these things on the ground, which sometimes are keys, and uh, just info docs. Your current objective will be shown on your PDA. Your PDA will also show all the information that you have found. Your PDA can can be accessed from your inventory. Your current objective will also be shown on your map. It will be highlighted in red. Your map will also show your current uh, where, you're, where you currently are highlighted in green. Not 
read through all this. Basically just kind of tells you how to use your inventory and stuff. Uh, herbal compound for healing. Okay, HQ. Barry, be careful. We have detected hostiles in the lobby. lobby. Uh, if you need to use your targeting system to attack these hostiles, once your target is activated, you can aim at these hostiles. The site will indicate when a hostile is in range. Uh, deactivate the target system once a hostile is in range to start a battle. Alright, come on. Avoid conflict if you can. That's very important that with this game, your uh, uh, bullets are very, very limited. Um, so, I should tell you quickly here. Barry, what in the name of this happened to these people? They're not human anymore. They're zombies. Um, so, yeah, your bullets are very limited. Uh, I, I'm playing on the Retron 5, uh, clearly, through HDMI, so the graphics should look pretty good here. Um, I am playing with a Super Nintendo controller, and there is lag, which in this game can is definitely a problem. So basically, you kind of have to let the zombies attack you. And here's the shooting mechanic. So you want to get the reticle in the center there. That's pretty good. Like I said, there's some major lag right now. And I just took him out. So you kind of want to avoid the zombies that don't have... See how the red one just showed up? That, that indicates that this zombie has an item that you have to get. So basically you just run into him, then you jam on the buttons, and then it'll initiate the, the sequence here. And I always try and get it into the center. Doing pretty good here considering the timing. And then you go up to him and you hit, basically hit A. Um, okay, so maybe I didn't need that. <laughs> Um, I guess red just indicates it's something important. Uh, basically, this is just telling you how to run away in battle. And it's the same thing. You just select run and you have to uh, get the timing right and run away, basically. Uh, make your way to the security room on fourth floor. Try the elevators to the west. Maybe you can locate Leon with the security cameras. Always be on the lookout for herbs to pick up. It's just telling you how to heal with herbs. Uh, you, you really do get the um, Resident Evil feel. I remember playing this in the Game Boy Color and just being blown away by this. For a Game Boy Color to be able to give you to give you that feel of a Resident Evil game is really kind of amazing. Electrical fuse, which I think I'm going to need later for something. It's been quite a while since I played this. Alright, so it flashed red there. I'm pretty sure... I thought red was items that you needed. I don't know. I guess they consider ammo something that you need. Well, you definitely need it to survive in this game. Uh, you can also use a knife if you want to conserve, which I might do. You j oh, what did I do? I think I just accidentally tried to escape. I did. Um, I hit the escape. And this is a nightmare to try and get. I think you can only escape if you get it in the center. This is ridiculous. And it's going to keep doing this until I die, I believe. So, that sucks. I don't even know what I pushed, to be honest. How do I get out of this? Come on. Uh, I'm going to have to just, yep, yeah, let myself die here. All right, so apparently I hit run by accident. I've done that once or twice in this, and it, it's really annoying. If I go to continue, it'll just leave me where I was. So I have to attack that guy again, or... Let him attack me, basically. Alright, let's see here. Sometimes it helps if you let the zombie come closer. Just because the uh, reticle gets larger and easier. If you get a headshot, it'll t obviously it'll take him down quicker. Bullets. And sometimes you get 
zombie sprung on you there, which you can't really do much about. So usually three shots for these guys. Oops. Wasted too many bullets there. Alright, so red. A lot of times these guys hold keys, so you kind of have to fight them. Ah, uh, this is just going over your inventory, telling you you can equip yourself with different uh, weapons. I do kind of enjoy the music in this. Pretty good for the most part. Then you just go over top and pick up the item. Uh, so he was holding some shotgun shells, which I can't pick up because I don't have the shotgun right now. Kind of annoying. healing stuff and go in this room down here I believe this is where you get the shotgun at least I hope it is bullets uh, shotgun ammunition but uh, I still don't have the shotgun so it's unfortunate Lots of handgun bullets. No. That's case in point where you'd really like to kind of avoid a fight and save your ammo. Wasted four bullets there. Alright, so now we got a different zombie type here. I believe these guys can poison you. And you have to use certain herbs to, uh, to uh, heal yourself. I think these uh, zombie chicks take a couple more shots from what I remember. No, three shots. They do more damage, that's what it is. Shotgun? Still no shotgun. Shotgun's in one of these rooms. Alright. Wants to give me lots of shells, but no shotgun. I could really use that shotgun. I don't remember where I get it. All I know is I'm supposed to go west. There's another guy I need to fight. Alright. Turned into two. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if this looks fun to you. I, I really enjoy it. It actually plays a lot better on... There, I two-shot at that guy. plays a lot better on the Game Boy Color. Um, like I said, there's quite a bit of lag using the Retron 5. But uh, for gameplay purposes, I don't really have a choice, clearly. There's the shotgun. So then you just hit start. Uh, wait, not start. That's for your map. Uh, you hit select. And uh, here comes Andrew. Or maybe Teddy. And now uh, you just select your weapon. I'm actually going to heal. And that's good for now. Eventually you, get a, uh, you can get up to three party members. Yeah. I hear you, bud. That's Andrew. Sorry, guys. Um, probably going to hear him talking to me. Some shotgun shells. Now, should I go back? I probably should go back and grab some of those shells, right? I think they were just over here. I think it... Hopefully those zombies haven't respawned. Alright, nice. Nice. 
Uh, shotgun shells. I think there was more in here. I actually like that music. <laughs> it's pretty good for a Game Boy Color game. Alright, so now we're loaded up with uh, shotgun shells. Uh, I'm probably going to go for a couple more minutes here. I'd like to get to like a boss battle, but uh, I really want to keep this under 20 minutes, so... Here's the... Oh, no, I can't go on that elevator. There's one... Can I miss him? Uh, again, I tried to avoid... There's one that you definitely should have avoided that confrontation to save bullets, but... Um, this reticle goes quite a bit quicker. Gotta get used to the timing. All right, sounds like the whole family is coming downstairs, so it might get a little noisy. Okay, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. I can't get on the elevator. Do I? Maybe I have to use a key. I think I have to use the key here. And you have to go select it and use there. Key used. Oh, I really like this game. I think it's so cool. Oh, save point, okay. And we're gonna go up. I believe this will put us on the deck of the ship. Uh, it's hard to dodge these guys. Okay, I forgot about that. Totally forgot that uh, you don't actually have to let the zombies grab you. Okay, Barry, the security room will probably be locked. I may need a key for it. So you can actually push B and aim your reticle. And then when you let go, it targets the zombie. And you initiate the uh, confrontation that way. I'm just waiting for this to get a, him to get a little closer. Drop healing herbs. Be on the lookout for armor. Equip yourself with armor to protect yourself. Going over armor, pretty straightforward stuff. This guy, he's got something. He's got a crowbar, or a, he's got a crowbar or an, um, or an umbrella. Up some shotgun shells. All right, I think I have to go east here. I think I've got to find a key first. All right. So the zombies can actually get back up and grab you. I don't think there's anything up here. I love that moaning zombie noise. Oh, three of them. This is going to be interesting. I hate when I take him out in two shots, but I accidentally fire off a third because I don't think they're going down yet, and 
and just end up wasting it. Alright, and those guys dropped absolutely nothing. Alright, another one of these poisonous zombies. Look at that, one headshot. I think they just do more damage. Um, they don't, they're not easier or harder to take down. I think they can just inflict more damage. Here's a non-zombie uh, dead person. Super hard to avoid these guys. Another headshot, nice. And I guess her body just exploded. Alright, this is going to be my last encounter and I'm going to have to end it here. I can always come back if you guys want to see some more of the, uh, this riveting Game Boy Color gameplay. But uh, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. Uh, as a lot of you know, it's uh, I accidentally hit escape again, so I'm going to die. Good timing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, you can find me anywhere on social media at CJR. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game, if you've played this game. Uh, if it looks like fun to you, feel free to go pick it up. I think I've, it's, it goes for about 30 bucks. Um, it's a little uncommon, but not super expensive. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching once again, and uh, till the next episode.